I just uh, finished a pretty good workout. So if you saw my video on my plan for 2021, you'll know that I'm sort of micro dosing my, uh, my training. So I'm, every week I'm adding in just tiny amounts of uh, faster paced running while everything else just remains easy. And today, today was uh, two times one kilometer at marathon pace. So I, I sort of guessed that my current marathon pace is around maybe 430 per kilometer. So that's what I aim for. I don't have my heart rate monitor on, so I don't exactly know what was going on, but I took my pulse manually and it was uh, like 185, 190, which is closer to my, well, that's more like lactate threshold, uh, metabolically speaking anyway. So I think today was more like a threshold workout, but it, it sort of makes sense because if you think about it, I've just been running easy. So I've really only trained my slow twitch fibers over the last 10 weeks uh, since I started running again. And so if you consider that, Today, much more of my, you know, type two A fibers were involved, generally known as the, as the intermediate fibers. You know, they're fast twitch fibers, but they can, they can adapt to uh, be, become quite oxidative, quite similar to the type one fibers. So today's workout was a, a good workout for, because it activated those fibers, etc. So, but mainly, Mainly, these workouts, the reason I'm microdosing it like that and just doing like tiny amounts, like one kilometer at marathon pace, one kilometer threshold, uh, is, is not because I, I don't think I could handle more systemically. Systemically, I, would, I should definitely do more high intensity training at the moment, but... So, 26 hours later, <laughs> I ran out of... Uh, storage space on my iPhone yesterday. So just picking up where I left off, what I was saying was that it's not the system as a whole that struggles with uh, increasing mileage as much as it, as it is the, the structural system, you know? The legs, basically, the, the ligaments, the tendons, muscles the soft tissues essentially. And so, so that's why I'm sort of microdosing the workouts like that. And I feel like it's working pretty well. I, today is the day after obviously and my legs feel okay. I'm not really that tired either. It's a good, good little workout, you know? Check out the views. So sunset essentially. Can't really appreciate it, of course, on the camera, but it's pretty beautiful. Although I gotta say, winter for me, like this, it's, it's you know, I can, I can cope most of the time, but almost every day, at least once or twice every day, I'm feeling like on the verge of just flipping out of just uh, screaming and just going, fuck, get me out of here now. So it's, it's definitely a struggle, that's for sure. But you gotta hold on to the good things, of course, which is uh, epic views, a little variation, I guess, in training, trying something new. Tomorrow I'm going skiing again. Went skiing last week. So yeah, today was just a very, very easy run. I just wanted my body to recover from yesterday and don't stress the legs too much. So just six kilometers, slow pace, almost home now. That's the barn. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, give it a like and put a comment. Tell me what you're up to. Maybe I should have turned off the light actually.
that's actually better without the light but I needed the light when I was running so okay that's it see ya